not save the queen because we are not British. We are Irish. We take, we take what we want and we beat people up for it. And we are back here in our Ireland campaign or the Emerald Jewel. We are here just relaxing after a good campaign of just conquering, you know, a good amount of Egypt. Well, right now, just starting to lay our stakes in Egypt. I got a good entry now in Ethiopia, which is what I wanted. Which means a good entry into colonizing, which is also another thing I have to start worrying about. Because I'm going to need to start kind of expanding our our naval bases. Because we need to start getting our naval bases a little bit up to par. Because if we want to colonize, we're going to need our naval bases up. So all of our naval bases up over there, all naval bases up over there. Okay, we got, we're all good. So right now, everyone, I switched one of our national focuses from from just regular what they were doing to encourage craftsmen. See if that will affect over here. Because it doesn't seem like anything I'm doing affects anything over here. So that kind of stinks. <laughs> but hopefully, you know, encouraging bureaucrats will do something. Um, I know definitely encouraging reactionaries has done a lot because, I mean, our population is now mostly unionist party. It's not quite to the point I want to. I still want more unionists in the in this. Okay, so the Jacobson rebels. Oh wait, we have no army over there? Oh. That's actually kind of a big problem because we have no army over there. Okay, so you guys Can I make a can I make some troops over there and just have them let's see, how much are they gaining a day? Yeah, I could probably make some troops over here, and I could probably probably get them to just go fight. So let's see. Let's see, recruitment-wise, we need to get some troops from over here. Not a navy. I don't want to build a navy. Build an army. Build, like, one soldier. One soldier right there. And one hussar right there. Should take how many days? A couple days, because we'll have a couple days to, like get our factories all in order yep okay and yeah right now we are just relaxing a little bit I'm probably gonna spend like two years getting down infamy because I took a little bit too high of infamy I think in my opinion of that last war but uh, we're gonna have to start going after someone in a couple in about two years I think we have two years to react that's basically what I'm saying we have two ye two years to relax so I'm enjoying this time uh, just don't have to do anything, just kind of like relaxing, there's a crisis going on, I don't have to join, I can see how it's going, though. No, it seems like yeah. Russia and France might be stubborn enough to stay in this war, I'm not sure. They might be stubborn enough, and it's apparently Netherlands is right now a great power, and they didn't conquer Belgium, wow! Uh, so I guess it is possible to be a Netherlands power even if you are not... Even if you do not conquer Belgium. Huh. It's kind of interesting to know. So let's see. Burma. Hmm. I'll go after Burma. Let's see. Got muzzle blowers and rifles. Let's see. Oh, professionalism. Well, now I have some of this. Let's see. If anything new I have to get. Cultalist theory. Mining output. No, not really. Don't really care about that. Supply limit might help us a little bit. Army nutrition. Oh, definitely. The next place I think I'm going to concentrate on is the Santo Calafé. Because this region, this region annoys me every time I see it. Because almost every time you try to take over the Santo Calafé, it always says it can never do it. Because it has one, two, three, four, five regions. It has five regions that you have to conquer. So, I think this will actually be our next big conquest is taking over the Santo is taking a region from the Santo Caliphate probably something like Benin or Benin or yeah I'll just take Benin because that will make it much easier for me to convert all this over here which will make it much easier to do all this conquest over here or colonization over here okay now let us hope we do not gain any infamy for this I am running a little bit high Hoping to get like 2.0 infamy for it. Okay, and of course, it seems like they back down. And Poland is back, everyone! Yay! We know this is going to be a good let's play when Poland is formed. Oy. And they actually, have, they actually have a decent amount of land. They just need to get this 
Uh, this little piece of lint. Ah, uh, dang it. Don't tell me the Jacobson somehow figured out how to... Ah, uh, dang it. Uh, the Jacobson somehow figured out... Oh my goodness, you guys are actually running rampant. Okay, so time to go take my army. I'm gonna go deal with all these guys, because I, I bet you anything, they are rebelling because of British nationalists. Let me guess. No, the Irish reactionaries. That's kind of weird. I would think the reactionaries would actually want me in power because we are actually helping the cause. It's kind of weird. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I'm building another army over here to take down these little tiny armies. Should be powerful enough by the time we get our mini Hussia Hazar built. And I know, I keep saying that like... Sometimes I say... This must be so frustrating for you guys. Because sometimes I say that correctly and then other times I say that completely wrong okay you guys still heading over there even though man these guys will yeah, you guys are still gonna head there it's probably gonna get there in a couple of weeks I should have enough army to still deal with them so the revolution should not happen and remember guys this is the rule I've always had in this let's plays or every single let's play I've ever done is that if a revolution actually does take me over then shoot wait what did they do Okay. I'm confused. On a lot of things. Um, I know I said that I would let revolutionaries, you know, take over once everything's at, but this is the exact same party, the exact same flag, the exact same everything. I don't see any difference. In fact, the only thing that's different, it seems like I could do no sub. Oh my goodness, I could do no subsidize? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That one's, it seems like nothing changed. Like, nothing changed. It seems the exact same party as usual. The only thing I don't have is no voting. It doesn't seem like that big of a deal. And it seems like I just got away with having no, uh, no infamy for that entire conquest. Wow, that's really weird. That's really weird. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, like I said, people, I would usually do my give up and, you know, give up the Let's Play because, you know, it's, they had won and I had lost. And, you know, all that kind of jazz, but, I mean, they did, they did nothing! They, 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 they did nothing to my government except for changing just little tiny things, which I'll probably, I can allow slavery. Oh. Do we just not allow voting anymore? Yeah, we don't allow voting anymore. So that means this party can just remain in power forever. Hmm. But do we allow factory building? Let's see. The state capitalists do! What the heck? Okay, that's really weird. Okay, I'm saving up. Hmm. Let's see, let's build some... Yeah, it seems like we don't need to force the nationalists anymore, so let's start encouraging our economy again by building some craftsmen wow that's just that's just honestly really weird I'm going to also build a glass factory fertilizer factory here oh, dang it okay next time when I have a chance I'm gonna build a fertilizer factory and I'm gonna finish up my rest of my expansions into these two regions okay build up a fort right there just in case if we ever want to go to war with the British we have enough army to do so so I can allow slavery again that's slightly unnerving like just slightly people I don't know why that's just that I don't know it feels slightly wrong now my government feels slightly off but yeah this is somebody was talking to me about in the comments about hey James could you like do slavery again yeah, you can. This is this is one of the ways you can get slavery back in this game. Um, do I recommend it? No, not in the slightest. Because in the end, I don't even think slave slaves benefit you in the overall economy. So, yeah, uh, don't don't do slavery, people. Don't do slavery, kids. Oh, this sounds like a drug. Don't do slavery, kids. It's bad for your indigestion. Oh, now some, oh no, now I have a picture of you guys just like. I have like a picture of just some, this is weird guys, don't trust me, but I'm having a picture of just like you guys like 
doing doing slavery as like a crack or something and just like don't do slavery Oi. that'd be a very weird crack I wonder how it tastes black okay so now it's time to get off my boats and we're gonna go march to the very 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 mean land to my troops so let's see we just need to go to Santo declare war we want to demand Brennan if we want somewhere near declare war let's go okay and they honestly should not have they're probably just gonna be defending and they probably won't do anything because I have so much men power over here how my ships are doing yeah they're doing okay they actually don't have much nutrition I think it's because now I have like everything under control in terms of like power or not power I mean in terms of like naval naval supply so they're actually starting to get the supplies done and let me see over here do we have our factory being built yes we do I'm gonna build some railroads oh yeah just control yeah that makes it so easy control just build all the fact let's see did that build it all nope I didn't have enough money dang okay let's see over here we have our first region conquered have to go get this region right over here and I should start getting taking war score from just having the region the region I need because yeah, this is Brennan right yes yeah, is Brennan definitely Brennan okay we have a decent wow okay do they get a modifier here if I attack it no this is planes yeah they will not get a modifier so I could instantly once we're done with this I could probably just go kick them out of my land and we'll see if my army can take on this oh my goodness they conquered really fast like really fast dang okay well, now they're out okay gonna get taking war score huh didn't even have to really do anything I'm just gonna let their troops take nutrition I'm gonna see what happens if I do this yeah it seems like wait they're not retreating so that leads me to believe they have some kind of numerical advantage Planes, not gonna do it. I have an advantage right here. They're gonna slowly start to die out there in uninhabited, uninhabited lands, or uncolonized lands, I should say. So I just have to wait here. Just have to wait. I'm gonna go conquer more regions though, while I'm waiting. Do, 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 do. And everyone, king. Oh, we're now a king. Island's now officially a kingdom again. And yeah, you see, they're just slowly dying out there. My people are just like chilling out in their place. It's like. Shh. Yeah, we don't need this. Okay, we need to get some high output, high output stuff building. Oh yeah, it seems like they're probably gonna die out there if they don't come back in soon, like come back in the lands. But they they definitely refusing to. So I'll just take advantage of this and just keep conquering the lands. Let's go right here. All right, Santo, you want a piece? Yes, you do. Okay, so let me move my troops back into safety land. Uh, build a couple of forts. Yeah, I want to build a fort. That way I have some protection. And I guess that's the end of this episode, everyone. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hey, guys. Welcome back to our Irish campaign. I'm recording a lot of episodes in a row because I've been a little bit behind. I'll admit it right now with my uh, Ireland campaign. So I'm going to record a lot right I'm going to keep recording a lot right now and keep hoping you guys love it. So right now, last... Last episode, as you guys know, we took a little bit from, my, from our good friends, the Santo Caliphate, which means, um, unless I'm mistaken, one, two, three, four. Yes, they only have four regions, so once we get nationalism and imperialism, we'll definitely be able to conquer the Santo back, okay? That is a good news right there. That is definitely good news. So let me just see, does this have Ethiopian cores on them? No, it does not have Ethiopian cores. I doubt... Uh, we could probably go to war with them in... How many more years do we have until... Hmm. Truce lasts until 1852. When does this truce last? Oh, we're done with the truce with them? Could we... Conquest. Conquest still costs too much. It's like 22 infamy. I don't want to spend. Um... We could demand another concession. Well... There's not really much I can really demand from them because, yeah, they're already, they're already right there. So, 
Let's see, let's try to keep to this region, and actually, I want to go conquer Morocco. Morocco sounds like a great conquest. Mm -hmm. And let's see, Poland's doing Poland things. <laughs> I don't know what they've been doing this entire time. Oh, they've been speared by the British. That's interesting. So let's see, how's the spearing going? Has anyone speared me yet? No. No one really wants Ireland. <laughs> I feel unloved right now. But it seems we're still expanding like quite rapidly around the map. We're right now getting all the major places of importance. Dang. Got 4.9 infamy for that. Well, we still got we still an early game and I might not only taking little chunks of everywhere, so let's get our people back on the boats. So this army is still just sitting here out in the wilderness. Don't know why. Uh the probably glitched. That's what I'm guessing. And my ships. Okay, that was. That seems a little bit unfair, right there, don't you think? They just magically up and vanish. Okay. Okay, build more. Sh this is like the four. Sh hey. This is like the four ships I built. This is. We are. Uh, the Irish definitely are not known for the shipbuilding in this game. We are known for. For our beer and our great accessories towards violence and conquest, but we do not make good ships. <laughs> oh man, this is like gonna be this is like gonna be just a common joke among us. It's just like how many times we like build ships and fail at them. Okay, we just built some more. We just built some more things, and whoa, these guys are building, are building, uh, are getting much more tr people in. I mean, Leinster's just growing quick. Okay, let's see. Do I have any money? No, I do not. I'm just gonna wait a little bit to like gain some money before I spend some more on like upgrading my railroads and stuff. So right now we have, yeah, we're upgrading all of our railroad system, which is a good idea because then we can start curving around our country at fast rates. Country not that big, so country not gonna worry about decrease. What are you talking? Well, they already, they already like figured out a plot to take them over. So you know, I don't really. I don't really see why it would be important for us to have a decreased modifier at this point. I mean, the whole point of that is to just be a jerk, kind of. Okay, so trouble is brewing, trouble is brewing. Trouble is brewing, I think, in Vienta. Vienta? Yeah, it seems like the people of Venice actually want to be free. Huh. And apparently there's another war going on between Peneb, Persia, uh, Khalid, and Oh, that's actually, oh, that's actually a pretty even, a pretty even war going on in there. And a lot of you guys are thinking, huh? Well, in my opinion, oh my goodness, Afghan, you've been, you've been a bully over here. You've been just like taking over everything. Oh wow. Okay, and we got our new troops, our new army building up. I could try, and this would be pretty stupid, but I could try to go march my troops from here all the way to Morocco. I have a feeling though if I did, oh my goodness, I'm getting lots of, lots of lag here now. I bet you guys can see it. I'm going to have to stop the game for a second. Probably have to stop recording too. So, see you guys in a little bit when the lag...